So you saw him there, then, huh? Larger than life. Larger than death, you mean. There's no doubt about who he's after now. What were you planning to do about him, dear, besides just not telling me? I'm not planning to do anything about him. Joe Maloney's been itching for that job. He's got it. I'll phone him as soon as we put our guest in his quarters. I was right about that silly cab driver. For once in my life, I hate being right. Well, how in the hell could he have known we were going to be there when you and I are the only two people in the world who knew that? I've got a thought. It's a dumb one. Well, say it. Do you believe in ESP, extrasensory perception, all that sort of psychic phenomena? What do you mean, madam? What's her name? Blanche Tyler. Jesus. You and I know that that's off the wall, but uh, can we afford to be wrong? I'm afraid our two quarrelsome lovers are going to have to share a fatal accident. Oh, my God. But Maloney wouldn't be willing to do that, would he? Of course he'd be willing. Gladly. He'd believe he was protecting himself and his old buddy. Well, I don't want to know about it, okay? Promise me, Arthur. Come on now, dear. That's what's so exciting about all of this. We move as one, everything together, nothing held back. 